Welcome to another Mage tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring the prompt filter packs available on the build page. What are they? And how do they work? Every generation type has access to the prompt filters, so whether you're making a fast selfie or you're making a text-to-image with lots of specific configuration, you can use them if you want to. But are they filters? Perhaps not in the sense you might be used to thinking of that word. They don't act like a filter on your water, pulling toxins and microbes out that you don't want. They're also not the sort of filter you run into when you try to use a word on the naughty list on various websites. You can think of these filters like styles. You might be familiar with adding in the style of to your prompt and expecting the AI to create you something that looks like Rembrandt or Andy Warhol or Van Gogh created it. And you might think that's what these style filters will do. Well, not really, but also, sort of. What these are, are functions that will make your image have a certain look to it. So let's explore them and see what they can do. We'll start with a very basic setup. We'll use text to image, as that will give us access to everything. We'll pick stable diffusion version 1.5 for the model, because being an older model, it requires some skilled prompting in order to turn out images that look good, so it will be very easy to see what effects the filters have. We're also going to adjust some other settings. If you're following along, then set your aspect ratio to landscape, click the more options, and change the scheduler to Euler A, and leave everything else alone. We'll use the prompt, ducks floating near the shore in autumn and generate five times, and then look at what we got. And they look very much like stable diffusion, 1.5 images, because that's what they are. Unmodified, stable diffusion, 1.5 images. We could add a lot of terms to our prompt to try to make them look better, but let's explore the prompt filters now instead. Click the prompt filter button to turn it on, and a new area will open. You'll find a pack selector and a filter selector. There are six filter packs available, packs one through five, and the basic pack. The basic pack only has a few filters, so let's explore those. They are cinematic, enhance, masterpiece human, negative prompt, photograph, semi-realistic, sharp. All very boring names, but what effect do they have on our prompt? Let's find out. We'll generate the same prompt, ducks floating near the shore in autumn, five times with each filter activated. And here they are. You can see that while they don't cause stable diffusion 1.5 to put out perfect images, they do have a nice effect, and some of them look very nice indeed. But who uses 1.5 anymore? And of those that do, how many of them use such a simple prompt like ducks floating near the shore in autumn? Stable diffusion 1.5 prompts have to be loaded down with all sorts of terms as a general rule or the images don't look very good. Let's try a different model, one that's much more popular these days, and switch to SDXL. We'll turn off Prompt Filter, leave all the other settings alone, and generate five images from our prompt as a base starting point. Now we're getting somewhere, 
and we haven't even done anything fancy. We have a very minimal prompt. We only have the base SDXL model. We haven't used any LoRa's or textual inversions. We're just using Euler A as the scheduler. And we haven't touched the default settings on the seed, the guidance, or the steps. We've done almost none of the things we had to do on the old Mage site, but we're getting very nice images indeed, and with almost no work. This tutorial is an exploration of the prompt filter packs on Mage, so let's do the same thing with SDXL that we did with 1.5. We'll apply all the filters in the basic pack, one at a time, do five generations for each, and look at the results. And here they are. We have some nice ducks now, but let's explore deeper. There are five more filter packs, and they are full of interesting filters. It's worth noting, however, that the results you get will be different if you're using one of the fine-tuned models, or you have LoRa's applied. If you have a long, detailed prompt, rather than a short one like we are using, or perhaps you've got several other settings active. The more you add into your configuration, the more risk you take of making a mess, so always start with the very least and slowly add to it, rather like cooking in the kitchen. You wouldn't just open every spice bottle in the cabinet, pour all the contents of everyone into the soup, add a cup of salt, and expect a gourmet meal. You start with the basic ingredients, taste it, add a bit of this and a bit of that, and carefully solve the soup riddle until you have something delicious. Let's take a look at what the filters are in the other packs now. The filters in pack one are... That would be enough to keep you busy for a few years, I would think, but that's just pack one. Moving on to pack two, we have these.
Pack 3 contains these filters. You'll find these filters in pack four. And finally, these are waiting for you in pack 5. Obviously, we're not going to sit here and try every single one of these on our duck prompt. However, the how-to guide, linked in the description of this video, has pages of examples of all of these in the back of it, just waiting for you to look at. Thanks for watching, and happy creating!